cosmos is a place we know precious little about. What mysteries lay in the midst of fallen stars, what secrets hide in the crevices of the universe. These are the questions we seek the answers to. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be looking at three extraordinary cosmic discoveries. Astronomers measuring the expansion of the universe confirm that we still do not understand everything. The H0 lens, known as the Hubble constant, is a form of measurement used to determine the velocity of the universe's expansion as well as to determine our universe's length, size and age. The lens is used as part of the Holikow project, meant to analyse the universe's expansion. The Holikow researchers calculate the cosmos's expansion in an original and innovative way. They use quasars within our cosmic line of sight by a process referred to as gravitational lensing. Although this is an inspiring way of measuring the size of the cosmos, there is a common belief among scientists that we lack the knowledge of certain physics not yet discovered. The measurements are obtained when an object of colossal size, like the galaxy itself, exists in between our Earth and another galactic object. Because of the effects of the rule of general relativity, the light that comes from the background object curves around the lens object, thus lighting up, so to speak, the background object and helps put its size into perspective. The Holikow collaboration is composed of space-based and land-based telescopes, including but not limited to the Spitzer Space Telescope, the Hubble Telescope, the Subaru Telescope, the Gemini Observatory, and the W.M. Keck Observatory. The light from these faraway quasars travels to the Earth at differing moments in time. Quasars are not constant. They can be seen flickering throughout months or years and never retain the exact same light at all times. The Holikow researchers analyze the changes in brightness of these quasars and connect them with the delays of the light paths, which are caught by the Hubble constant. According to Frederick Corbin, the Holikow co-leader, our method is the most simple and direct way to measure the Hubble constant as it only uses geometry and general relativity, no other assumptions. Dr. Corbin comes from the EPFL in Switzerland. The Hubble constant has a 3.8 precision percentage. H0, as a measurement, is recorded in kilometers per second per megaparsec, the latter of which comes down to being 3.26 million light years in distance. The scientists divide the galaxy's velocity by its distance from us, which in turn helps them analyze the universe's expansion. This is not an easy process, as distances in the galaxy are difficult to obtain. There are landmarks in space referred to as standard candles. These are known for their illumination as they greatly stand out in the vastness of space. Astronomers often use these standard candles to calculate the amount of dimming that occurred due to distance. All sorts of these candles have been used before, from stars to supernova explosions. The issue lies with the fact that the Hubble constant's measurements do not align with the HO measurements gathered with the cosmic microwave background and radiation leftovers from the Big Bang. The CMB has been used to determine the models of the universe and most scientists agree with the measurement acquired from it. When compared, the two types of HO measurements do not match. This prompts scientists to believe our understanding of the universe is vastly incomplete. These differences do not imply one is wrong, but rather that there's a missing piece of the cosmic puzzle we lack the physics to comprehend. Something is missing from our current model of the universe. Dr. Seri Suyu, the Holikow leader, explains, The expansion rate of the universe is now starting to be measured in different ways, with such high precision that actual discrepancies may possibly point towards new physics beyond our current knowledge of the universe. The Hubble constant is crucial for modern astronomy, as it can help to confirm or refute whether our picture of the universe's composition of dark energy, dark matter and normal matter is actually correct, or if we are missing something fundamental. Perhaps in the coming decades, we will uncover this missing puzzle piece and finally begin to understand our place in the universe. ALMA Telescope in Chile finds a baby planet 
With the usage of the very large telescope in Europe, scientists have gathered the first proper proof of the formation of a brand new baby planet. Positioned in the Atacama Desert in Chile, the VLT revealed to scientists that a new star system is in mid-creation with AB Aurigae, a youthful star as its host star. Research has shown that planets form around new stars from disks of cold gas and dust fusing together. But the process has never been captured by humans before. We know of it, but to discover a baby planet in the infant stages of its life is new and incredibly exciting for the astronomers involved with the finding. Anthony Boccoletti, the lead researcher from the Observatoire de Paris, France, states, Thousands of exoplanets have been identified so far, but little is known about how they form. We need to observe very young systems to really capture the moment when planets form. AB Aurigae lies 520 light-years away from the constellation of Auriga, from which AB Aurigae's name derives. The young star is a colossal blue star, but not visible in the night sky. For the longest time, researchers were not able to take detailed pictures of the planet-forming disks to determine whether a baby planet was being created or not. That is, until now. Recent captured evidence shows the gas and dust intertwining in a spiral cloud, precisely how astronomers understand new planets to form around AB Aurigae, with the almost planet already orbiting the star. Dr. Emmanuel de Folco of the Astrophysics Laboratory of Bordeaux explains the process of the spiral gas and dust and how they create a planet. It causes disturbances in the disk in the form of a wave, somewhat like the wake of a boat on a lake. This wave then sets off a reaction of creating the planet. Co-author of the study, Anne Dutry, states, The twist is expected from some theoretical models of planet formation. It corresponds to the connection of two spirals, one winding inwards of the planet's orbit, the other expanding outwards, which join at the planet location. They allow gas and dust from the disk to accrete onto the forming planet and make it grow. Analyzing this new planet as it is born will help scientists understand more about our cosmos and whether our assumptions and understanding of stars, planets, and star systems are true. Astronomers observe a rare cosmic ring of fire for the first time. Scientists discovered an extraordinary cosmic ring of fire. This ring of fire refers to an incredibly rare type of galaxy that is far and few in between. The name stems from the fact that 11 billion years ago, this extremely rare galaxy would have resembled a colossal, glorious ring of flames. Discovered in Mauna Kea, Hawaii, this galaxy is roughly the mass of our Milky Way. What differs between the two is the massive hole it has in its center, making the galaxy round and ring-shaped. This finding can help astronomers discover more about how galaxies were created and how they can be structured in space, as well as how galaxies can change and develop across time. Tian Tian Yuan, the team's lead researcher, has claimed, It's a very curious object that we've never seen before. It looks strange and familiar at the same time. The hole in the center of R5519, the proper scientific name given to this galaxy, possesses a diameter of 2 billion times that of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. According to Yuan, it is making stars at a rate 50 times greater than the Milky Way. Most of that activity is taking place on its ring, so it truly is a ring of fire. Yuan has worked with researchers all across the globe, from Australia to Denmark to the US, and countless others, to try and obtain as much information about R5519 as possible. The team used the OH Suppressing Infrared Imaging Spectrograph and the Multi-Object Spectrograph for Infrared Exploration to obtain the ring's spectroscopic details, as well as the Hubble Space Telescope's images of the galaxy for further analysis. The research pointed toward R5519 being a collisional ring galaxy. There are two kinds of ring galaxy. The first forms from internal reactions. The second type of ring galaxies form due to harsh and intense crashes with other galaxies. In our observable universe, collisional ring galaxies are 1,000 times rarer than their internally formed equivalents, 
but proof gathered by researchers implies they have always been rare. Ahmed El Ghali from Australia's International Centre for Radio Astronomy states, Further constraining the number density of ring galaxies through cosmic time can also be used to put constraints on the assembly and evolution of local-like galaxy groups. Another researcher, Kenneth Freeman, believes that this discovery could help us all discover how the Milky Way was created and how the universe works in regard to star formation. There is still much we do not know, and this could help open our eyes. The collisional formation of ring galaxies requires a thin disk to be present in the victim galaxy before the collision occurs. The thin disk is the defining component of spiral galaxies. Before it assembled, the galaxies were in a disorderly state, not yet recognizable as spiral galaxies. These discoveries keep astronomers in high hopes of discovering the missing links in our understanding of physics and the cosmos in which we live. Who knows what amazing findings we will discover in the near future. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.